Now look outside a little bit cooler today. We weren't into the upper 80s. We hit 86 officially at PBIA morning start with 78. Much more comfortable weather ahead because of a nice little breeze that's going to set up here across the area. Right now, not too bad. We're a little bit cooler tonight than we were last night, so we're on the right track and no rain to track. Already down to 60 in Okeechobee tonight. Low 70s, Indian Town 74, Jupiter 72, Vero. Uh, still a little bit warmer down to Boca, but we'll call it nice and comfortable. 77 for most of us. As we go through the overnight, no rain, mostly clear skies. And that breeze is going to start to kick in. You'll feel it tomorrow. It's going to stir things up and make it feel a lot more comfortable. We start things off 60s and lower 70s, so a little more comfortable in the morning. And then we start to kick in a nice little onshore breeze, all thanks to high pressure that's situated here. And that's going to allow for the winds to really start to kick in as we go in towards the Saturday into Sunday. But, oh, you want some chilly stuff? Got to go to Denver, back up towards Seattle. Look at that big blob of blue. That's some really cold air where they're seeing snow in the 20s and 30s there. And then you got the front just chop at the midsection of the country. What is going on with the tropics? Of course, Martin is long gone. It's quickly moving out of the picture. Lisa, same deal. And then we still have the two areas of yellow. One, not worried about this. This area we continue to track because the Hurricane Center has highlighted that over this area, the next five days, we could see a low chance of something developing. What does that mean to you? Well, do you need to worry about this thing? The answer right now is no, because what we're seeing is a broad area, weak area of low pressure that will develop as we get closer to Sunday and into Monday. Watch how this unfolds. This is Sunday. Notice everything is kind of elongated and broad. Yeah, it looks like an area of low pressure. This is Monday. So as this area of low pressure, again, weak in nature, comes over our area, it is going to increase our rain showers. Monday, Tuesday, again on Wednesday. Not concerned with this thing giving us damaging winds or anything you need to worry about. What it will do is increase the tropical moisture, and of course those rain chances will be on the higher side next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and possibly even into Thursday. But again, just a friendly reminder, we still have some time left in the official hurricane season. Oh, those winds are going to be howling tomorrow, especially as we head into Saturday as well. Notice the wind arrows. They're really starting to stretch out. That tells us the breeze is going to be pretty strong Saturday again on Sunday. And along that good flow could be an isolated shower to both Saturday again on Sunday. And then by Sunday to Monday, we get that tropical moisture kind of feed on in. And that means our rain chances do go up into next week. But the weekend looks OK. It's a little more comfortable, though, with because, with the, because of the breeze out there. Seas are increasing. They were two feet earlier. They're three feet tonight. But tomorrow up to four to six feet because that wind is going to be howling. Northeasterly wind 15 to 20 knots. So that does mean choppy conditions on the intracoastal. Here's a look at South Florida certified most accurate forecast. Good looking day Friday. It's gorgeous. 84 the high Then Saturday, Sunday, just isolated showers quickly moving in. No washouts mid 80s. And then here comes our tropical moisture moving in. Gives us a rain chance at about 50% all next week. Todd.